I found so many signed special editions in a charity shop. I can't believe it. I'm just about to go out charity shopping, but I'm having a quite a difficult time justifying going out buying more books because, I mean, look at this. Look at this chaos. Books have literally flooded the guest room. I don't have any more space for books, but that's a problem for another day. <laughs> Let's go charity shopping. I'm about to head off now, so uh, fingers crossed I'll find loads of good books. So this charity shop is going really well. I've already bought four books, um, so hopefully I'll find some additional ones, so stick around. I am so confused. That charity shop had so many sign editions with sprayed edges. Why would you even hand that in? I don't get it. So I did buy two special editions, which I'll show at the end of this video. And we're back. This is honestly the best charity shop I've ever had. I found a complete fancy trilogy, lots of signed special editions, and lots of fancy hardbacks. The things people donate honestly blows my mind. So let's talk about which books I bought. The first book I bought is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King and I'm actually really happy about this one. Firstly, it's a book club edition and it's actually in great condition. Secondly, I've been missing reading some King lately and this book is nice and short which kind of makes me feel like I have an excuse to read it because if you didn't know, a lot of Stephen King books are very long. Now, I've actually heard about this one before and what I've heard is mixed. I know some people really, really love this book. I believe this book is about a young girl who strays away from her parents and she gets lost in the woods and then she apparently starts to hallucinate. Apparently this girl is a huge fan of Tom Gordon, the baseball player, and she starts seeing him. I might have it wrong, but I believe that's the gist of the story. Now this book has quite a low rating on Goodreads at only 3.6, which isn't that great, but I want to give it a try and make up my mind and it's also quite short. Ideally, I would like to read all of King's books someday, but I don't expect that to happen. I believe Stephen King has written more than 60 books now, so I don't expect to ever get to all of his books. The next one is a total bargain. I was able to buy the whole Rift for Saga by Raymond E. Feist for only one and a half pounds. Yes, you heard that right. 50 pence per book, which is crazy. So the books are as follows. The Magician, Silverthorn, and A Darkness at Sethanon. I think that's how you pronounce it. I actually already own The Magician and Silverthorn in different editions, and to be totally honest, I definitely prefer these editions. There's just something so cool about these vintage covers, and they're also much more colorful than the other ones. How cool is that? So I know I already own two of the books in this series, but I couldn't say no to a matching set for only one and a half pounds. These books are well loved, which you can see on the spine. Someone must have read these so often judging by that spine. The Rift War Saga is a beloved traditional epic fantasy, which has been on my radar for a while. My brother-in-law loves The Magician, and I've also had some of my followers recommend the series to me. However, I'm not 100% sure if I will love the series judging from what I've heard about it, but I kind of want to give this one a try since it's such a popular series. One series that I definitely want to give a try by Raymond E. Feist is the Empire Trilogy, which is written by Feist and Jenny Words. I have heard that that series is definitely worth checking out. Feist has written so many books, so I'm not sure if all of his books connect somehow together, but I believe you can start with either the Rift War Saga or the Empire Trilogy. If you are a Feisty fan, then let me know where I should start with the series. That's so bad. I also bought Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik for only one pound, and this book is in really great condition. The spine looks great, and yeah, I'm very pleased about it. Novik is one of those popular fancy authors that I haven't read any books by and I actually don't hear that many talk about her books to be honest. I really want to read Temeraire. Temeraire? I have no idea how to pronounce that word. It's Novik's massive nine book series that has a lot of dragons in it. I know that Ryan Cahill really enjoyed that series and he did recommend me checking it out. 
Moreover, it has dragons, so I'm already sold there. I actually own the first book in that series, so I hope to get to this series sometimes in 2022, but my TBR is out of control, so I make no promises. Regarding Spinning Silver, then, I don't know anything about the story except Patrick Lee recently read this one and said it was brilliant. I must sound like a major Patrick Lee fanboy, because it feels like I mention his name in every single video I make. Now, I don't know if I should read Spinning Silver or Temeraire first. If you read any of these, then let me know what is the better starting place out of those two. Novik is definitely an author I would like to get to sometimes soonish. And I know you are probably still watching because you want to know which of those special editions I ended up buying. Well, I'm happy to say that I actually bought two, and the first one being The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed, and this is the Illumicrate edition. Now, I understand that some people need to unhold books, but I don't understand why you would give this away like that. I have looked online and this book cost a minimum of £40 on eBay and I bought it for only £10. This book is in great condition as well, and it's signed by the author Ava Reed. Not only that, it also has these stunning edges. Just look how beautiful that is. It also has some text and art on the naked hardback, which is a really nice touch. And lastly, this book has the most beautiful dust jacket I have seen on a book. It is so detailed, and the artwork is absolutely stunning. Just look at that. I'm actually not that interested in this book, to be totally honest. I have heard mostly negative things about this one, unfortunately, and the synopsis doesn't really speak to me. I actually only bought this because I couldn't say no to such a bargain. I'll put up the synopsis here, so you can pause the video if you're interested in knowing more about the book. If you read this book, then I would love to hear your thoughts on whether I should read it or not. Do you want to know which other special edition I end up buying? If you want to see which other special edition I bought, then you have to join my Patreon. That's obviously a joke. I don't have a Patreon. The next one is Little Thieves by Margaret Owen, and this is also an Illumicrate edition. I also bought this one for £10, and it seems like you have to pay a minimum of £50 on eBay for this one. This book is also in fantastic condition and has a signed book plate in it, and these edges are even more beautiful than The Wolf and the Woodsman in my opinion. Look how detailed that is. However, the real highlight of this edition is definitely the naked hardback. I don't think I've ever seen such detailed artwork on the naked hardback before. It's so colorful and vibrant and beautiful. Why would you donate this? Now this one has received quite a lot of praise and currently has an impressive rating of 4.3 on Goodreads at the time of recording this video. I'm not sure if I'll pick up this one yet, but it's possible. I'll put up the synopsis here so you can pause the video if you're interested. I'm still blown away that I found these for only £10 each. While I love both of these editions, if I had to choose a favorite, I would probably choose Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. I just can't get over how beautiful the art on the naked hardback is. Which one do you think is prettier? I once applied to become a rep for Illumicrate over at my Instagram page, but I wasn't picked. Fingers crossed I'll be fortunate enough to become a rep someday, because these Illumicrate editions are so, so beautiful. So these are the books I ended up buying. The Rift for Saga, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, and two Illumicrate special editions for a total of £22.5 which in my opinion is a total bargain. I don't think any charity shop will top this to be totally honest, especially considering the special editions. Now I just need to find space for these books somehow. Thanks again for watching and thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. <laughs>